So Minecraft is a pretty massive game. You can build, you can fight, there's even a boss battle in the game. It's, it's pretty big. Now, like most massive games have, you can do commands inside of it. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot of commands inside of the game. That's why inside of this video, I'm gonna explain every single Minecraft command that is available inside of the game in alphabetical order. You might be new to the game or you might be a veteran. I can guarantee you there is probably something in this video you probably didn't know because while I was making this video, like my, my channel is completely command block related. I mean, there's a couple things that I didn't know while I was making this video. Anyways, let's start out with the first command we got and it is the advancements command. So the way this command works is it allows you to add any achievement or take any achievement away from the player. Um, or you can just add every single achievement to yourself at the same time like this. There's really not much of a use for this at all. It's not when you use. Our next command we have is the attribute command. With this command, it can allow you to uh, edit your flying speed, your attack speed, and even your knockback resistance. Um, and you can even edit your max health. Let me just switch to uh, survival here. All right, see, look at my health right now. And you can see, boom, look at that. Wow, that's crazy. This is a crazy cool command. Our next command is called the boss bar command. It allows you to put a custom boss bar to hover above the uh, the player's top left of their screen. I'm just, this one's pretty hard to sh use, but I'd Google a boss bar tutorial, uh, just so you know how it's done. See right there? It's telling you what you, you should do. That's right. Nah, you, you subscribe if you want to. This command right here is called the clear command. You can pretty much remove everything and everything inside of your inventory with just one command. Yeah. Boom. See, everything's gone. Now let's say that you, uh, you've got some important items inside of your inventory and you just want to remove this, this item right here. Well, you can make a, uh, you can clear a custom item like this and boom. See, it just takes away the TNT. Pretty basic uh, command to use, and it is definitely useful. All right, our next command is one of my favorites, the clone command. This one is kind of difficult to use, and you need to know how to use coordinates too, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it right here. Just find where you want to uh, start the clone of the item, and uh, just type in clone the coordinates of that position, uh, and then you go to where you want the, uh, the other part to be cloned. Let's see here and then just type in the position of that. There we go. And then we go to where we want to place the, uh, the new item. And uh, we just, we type in the coordinates of there and boom, it just creates a whole new clone. Like you see inside of this house over here, we have uh, I enders in the chest. And in this one over here, Boom, I have Ender. See, it just, it clones every single thing about it. Even, even signs too. Like, see, boom. It's, it is so much fun to use. Uh, and I recommend learning to use this command because it, it comes in handy, trust me. Our next command is the data command. With this command, you can, uh, you can edit the, uh, the data of entities. So let's see, we've got a villager right here. And this villager is an adult. Let's say we want to make it a baby and keep it a baby forever. Um, so all we gotta do is just type in what what entity we're, we're doing. This one's also pretty difficult to use and I recommend looking up a uh, data command tutorial. Um, it's super fun. You just type in the data that you want here. Hit always active and I recommend putting one of these inside of a repeating command block. And then boom, now, now it's just a child. And it's gonna, gonna stay that way. All right, the data pack command. This command used to actually have a, uh, a more useful uh, use to it, but it no longer does anymore because uh, of the new 1.16 update. It, uh, it it changed how the data packs work, um, but you can basically uh, list all the all the data packs that you uh, that you have running in your world. Like, um, uh, let me just see. 
Like this is a data pack I made here to where you can turn villagers into vending machines. I totally recommend that you check out that video because it's, uh, it's, it's really cool. All right, now we've got the debug command. With this command, it, when you run the command, it'll it'll just send a message to your uh, your Minecraft logs folder that you're requesting a debug uh, packet. Um, this one is uh, not much of a use for it unless you're running a server, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into detail for it. The default game mode command. With this command, you can you can run what game mode you want to be uh, defaulted in your world. So if it's set to creative, any new players that join your world will uh, be on creative. Uh, however, if it's set to survival or something, all of the players that join the world will be in survival. Um, this one is really handy for if you want uh, players to be in a set game mode uh, and not in just any game mode. The difficulty command is pretty easy. Uh, all you do is just type in slash difficulty and then how hard you want it to be. Um, thing about this is that it can also just be changed in settings here. So it's not that useful. So the effect command is actually pretty easy to use. All you got to do is effect, give your player, uh, and then the effect you want like uh, speed, hunger, jump boost, luck, uh, whatever you want, uh, and how many seconds you want that. Uh, running for and then uh, your amplifier too like for this it's gonna be how fast I'm floating up because of levitation and then this right here uh, it'll determine if you want particles or not the true right here is determining that I do not want particles all right let's see and then when we run this command I just I just fly out that's that's all I do and I'll be like this for the next 25 seconds so uh, yeah The enchant command. This command allows you to enchant whatever item you're holding. So right here in this command block, we've got enchant player efficiency. You can change this to anything you want. You want, you want flame, fortune, uh, lure, mending, what, whatever you want. Uh, and then the level of the uh, of the item you want. So all you got to be doing is just just holding an item, and then boom, it's enchanted now. Boom, it's enchanted now. Boom! Enchanted. There we go. You can do this with any kind of item and it's corresponding uh, enchantment. It's uh, it's very handy. Alright, so the next command that we have is the execute command. This is definitely one of my favorite commands and it is also very hard to use. Um, basically how it works is it'll test for an entity or a block and then if it detects that, it'll, it'll run the uh, command that you want. You can also add like scoreboard selectors. There's just a lot of stuff to do with this command. Um, but basically, I'm setting up an example here to where if it detects that there is a cow in the world, uh, it'll give you uh, speed. So essentially, uh, I don't have speed right now because there's there's not a cow in the world. However, if we just just look up cow here and take a cow out, and then, uh, boom! All right, now I got speed. Isn't that handy? Yeah, I love this cow. You are good cow. You. The XP command. Or the experience command. You can do XP or experience. Uh, basically what it does is you just, you really need to be in survival to be seeing this here. But let's see, game of survival. All right, see I'm at 69 levels right now. I press this button, boom. 70 levels, boom, 71, boom. 72, it, it's too easy. Uh, basically, uh, how this command works is, let me just go creative here, it's experience, add, uh, or remove uh, the player, uh, how much you want, and levels, or you can do experience orbs. I recommend just using levels because they're a lot easier to calculate. How this command can be used is, let's say you uh, accidentally kill your friend, like you push him into, into uh, like a cactus or something, he dies and he's mad at you because he lost all of his levels. Uh, well, you can just run this command and, and give him his levels back. It's, it, it makes everybody happy. All right, the fill command. How to use this command is, uh, basically you need to know how to use coordinates, just like the clone command there. Uh, but you want to create a massive hole in the ground? Well, me too. All you got to do is just fill, uh, this, and then let's go to the place that you want the other place to be filled with uh, one block. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna fill here. 
air. And then boom. That's that's all air now. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, I, I've always thought this command was crazy cool. Look at that. Or you can fill it up with something else. Like, uh, like let's see. We can fill it up with uh, oak doors. Uh, that's like my... Okay, yep, yep. That my game just broke because of that. All right, sorry about that. All right, so that was an adventure. Uh, let's let's try filling it with something that isn't gonna drop as many items. Like uh, I can do uh, a block of uh, block of diamonds. Yeah, see diamond block. Boom. Now it's all it's all diamonds. Woo! Isn't that crazy? I like that. The force load command. This command can uh, force load any chunk that is not like. That you're not near so let's just say extremely far away in the world like let's say some thousand blocks away you need to load something for whatever reason uh, just add the uh, coordinates uh, to these uh, to these squigglies here of that chunk that you want loaded and it'll load it um, not much of use for this um, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail for that the function command can uh, can uh, run a function uh, right away um, now that we've got the updates for the 1.16 data packs, uh, this isn't too useful anymore, but there are still quite a few usages for the function command. The game mode command, very simple. All you gotta do is just type into the, the chat, like uh, game mode survival. It'll change your game mode to survival. We're gonna do spectator, which is, you know, you're a spectator, you just fly around, and go through blocks. You're a ghost, really. It, it's crazy cool uh, creative and it's, yeah there we go that's all you really need to know about that one the game rule command with this command you can change rules inside of your game that that uh, that dictate how you play the game like uh, you can change if you want to, when you die if you lose items or not like you can you can change that or like this one right here game rule fall damage falls like I can turn off fall damage. I can literally have the game run normally. It's just you don't take damage from falling. It's it's pretty cool. I definitely recommend looking into all of the stuff you can do with this. Like disable raids. Like I mean, who thinks of that? That's amazing. The give command. All you got to do is just give a uh, player or a uh, selector, uh, and then like Minecraft saddle um, or any any item really. And then here you can add some data to it. Like, uh, like if you want to add a custom name or something, but I'm not going to go into the detail for that because that's, that can be hard to do. And, uh, yeah, the help command, all you got to do is just run here, boop, boop, boop. And it'll, it'll give you a list of every single command in the game. And that's, that's pretty cool. The kick command is just kick and then pick a player in your world and it'll, it'll kick them out of the world. And it's, it's that simple. The kill command is uh, essentially where you go and uh, you're going to just type slash kill and it'll, it'll just kill yourself. Or you can uh, you can type in a selector like, what if I want to kill every single bee in the world? Because what if I just don't like bees? See, there's all of our bees. Look at those bees. Aren't they bees? I hate bees. Get them out of here. Just boom, and they're all dead. Look at them go. Oh, yeah. The list command. All you got to do is just type in the chat list, uh, uoids. And it tells you uh, how many players are online, and that's that's pretty cool. I wonder if it'll it'll tell you how many how many entities there are too. Let's do our Uh, no, it doesn't. So that's that's quite interesting. All right, locate. Now this one typically works for uh, like a normal world, not a flat world like I'm in. You can locate like a mansion or a village. Anything like that and it'll show you the coordinates thing. You can just use the teleport command to just go straight to there. Very handy and I, I love it. Locate biome. This is a command that uh, the YouTuber known as the Red Engineer has been trying to get into the game for a while. And they they're finally implementing it. It's it's pretty cool. Basically all you got to do is just locate biome and then any any biome you want. Like a beach. You want to find a beach. You want to find desert. You want to you want to find uh, jungle. Ice spikes. They got it, all right? All you got to do is just locate by them. It'll give you some coordinates and then just teleport there. It's too easy. I love it. The loot command. Gosh, this one is complicated. So there's a thing in the game to where you can essentially change how rare items are when they spawn in uh, dungeon chests. Um, it's extremely hard to use, but I'd recommend looking up a tutorial for this. 
I haven't found much of a reason to uh, use it, so I haven't looked into it much. Okay, the me command. How you use the me command is just type in slash me, uh, and then something you're doing, like is, uh, is gaming. Oh yeah. Uh, and then I'll just say smart snake is gaming. Oh yeah. Um, it's, it's a funny command. Uh, it's really only made f for the memes. You know what I mean? Uh, and then we've got our message command right here. So you just message, uh, and then a username. Like, you, your best friend is a callman, uh, 95. Uh, then you can, uh, you just type in the message that, like, uh, Yeah, pretty easy. Uh, okay, so the particle command, basically you type in particle. Whatever particle you want, like, uh, let's say you want happy villager uh, effects. Or the, like, you heard of barrier blocks, like, you can just do the, the effect that those do. Uh, you can do bubbles or what, whatever you want. I'm just going to do Happy Villager. Uh, you do where you want it to play and then how big it is. Like uh, like how far the particles spread. And then the speed of it. I do zero because otherwise they just go way too fast. And then how many particles you want. Uh, so let's just, uh, let's just hit the button here and boom. Oh, isn't that pretty? Gosh, I love that. Play sound command. Basically what you got to do is play sound, Minecraft. Uh, and then whatever whatever sound you want like if you want cave sounds or you want uh, you want bamboo hit I'm doing block anvil use because I, I love that sound the ding 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 uh, And then it's whatever and then boom you hear that it's beautiful. I love this command Publish basically what you do is you just put this into the chat and instantly it'll put your it'll put your world on land so then uh, land players can uh, can join your game um you can just go to your uh, pause menu and open land here and then you get a little more options here otherwise th there's this recipe it will uh, give you a recipe that you uh, need in the game not much of a use for this but let's just say you you don't have the recipe for uh, acacia fence uh, then just always active and it'll give you the recipe it doesn't say it gave me anything but that's, that's how that's how it works Reload. Let's say that you installed a new data pack inside of your world, and uh, it 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 doesn't seem like it's there yet. Just hit reload, and it'll it'll redo all the uh, data packs in your world, and uh, you'll be able to see it there. Uh, very handy. Replace item. This one is super handy and so much fun to use. Let's see. Uh, let's say you want a diamond axe on your head. Why do you want a diamond axe on your head? Because it's funny. Let's see. Uh, replace item entity at all armor head or just you can put it anywhere, uh, but I'm doing head. Uh, and then whatever item you want, how many of them are gonna be there? Always active, boom. And uh, well, look at that, that's crazy cool. Look, wow. Even goes up here, look at that, woo! Say. So, uh, say is pretty easy. All you gotta do is just type in say, and then eh. Uh, and then it says smart snake said eh. Uh. Otherwise you can just open chat message and there. But then it does, does different brackets things and you know that's boring. Yeah, that's why say is so much better than uh than just than just typing in the chat, you know what I mean? Change my mind. The schedule command. You can schedule when a function plays. It's pretty simple to use, not gonna go into detail for it though. The scoreboard command, my number one favorite command personally. I love this command. There's so much you can do with this command. It is crazy. Basically you can create a custom scoreboard like uh like add uh, a scoreboard dummy and the dummy just means that it it, it it just stays as a scoreboard so with this like we can set it to where like uh, you can have point systems and yeah uh, with this right here also what you can do is you can uh, you can add a scoreboard to where anytime someone uses a uh, a minecraft stone pressure plate like it'll add a new score to them um, very hard to use I must say but I 100% recommend looking up a tutorial on how to use this command it is so much fun to use once you know how to do it I love it the seed command let's just say you're in a minecraft world and it's got a it's got a ton of diamonds right on spawn and uh, a, a massive village and, and a mansion and it's just so much good loot and your friends like yo what's the seed uh, basically what you can do is just type into your chat slash seed and that's the seed and if you want a world just like mine right here just put that seed in and you'll get it it's uh so handy i i i like the seed command the set block command basically what you do is you 
put set block uh, the coordinates of wherever you want and then uh, whatever block you want uh, it's very handy for uh, displacing blocks um, and yeah doesn't get more basic than that set world spawn so this will set where everyone in the world spawns so if I want everyone in the world to spawn right above this block let's do spawn point there it's active now everyone that spawns in this world will spawn right here and that's handy however let's just say uh, you want everyone to spawn right there but I I want to spawn over here for some reason um, basically you just do spawn point and boom that's that's now your your new spawn point uh, and that's just for yourself that's not for the world though the spectate command basically uh, you know how when you're in spectator mode what you can do is you can click on an entity and you will immediately be uh, spectating as them this is this just lets you do that but as a command the spread players command allows you to spread players out inside of a certain chunk and it, you can also do the spread distance too very handy uh, not much use for it though unless you're running a server based off of command blocks which I do not recommend I'd recommend just using bucket stop sounds so basically if uh, if someone's spamming the chat with uh, like anvil sounds or something uh, you can just run this command and it'll stop all sounds for you like if someone's playing some music you can stop sound it boom and then it's gone the summon command basically with this command what you can do is you can summon you can summon an, en an entity like this this place right here oh, that's pretty cool and you can even summon some entities that aren't even in the game unfortunately unfortunately you cannot summon hero brine but you can summon a whole giant there we go now let me just move it here all right there we go all right get out of here the tag command basically what you can do is you can tag to a player add or remove a tag that uh that you can add any name like i i put here set to die because then we can just use the the command slash kill at e uh tag equal uh set to die um there's many uses for the uh the tag command besides just going into these um it's even teaming players up uh but yeah i i i like the tag command so this is the team uh command it's basically to where you can set players to a custom team like for pvp or something and even add a uh team name like snakes gang i mean that's pretty cool yeah kind of hard to use um so i recommend looking up a tutorial on the team command team message it allows you to say a message to your team teleport it allows you to uh to just teleport to a certain location let's say i want to teleport two blocks above this command block right here boom now i'm teleported isn't that cool all right and now the tell command uh basically it's the same as the message command uh just with tell the tell raw command basically it allow allows you to just say raw json text into the chat like this one right here boom smart snake and it's got these squigglies right here um if you go to minecraft.tools slash uh tell raw it it'll uh there's a cool generator there that allows you to create all this i totally recommend it i use it all the time the time command so let's see i got the sun right there so uh, what if we want it to be noon all right, we got to do is just time set 6000 boom now it's up there or if we want it to be night we don't actually have to have a uh, a number there we can just do time set night uh just go boom boom let's always set to always active and now it's night it's not cool i'm just gonna set it back to six thousand here yeah i like six thousand best because it's it seems like it's the the brightest the title command basically what you do is you do title uh and then some json text right here with with whatever you want it to say and the color as well um and then how how you want it to fade in fade out uh, you can also create a generator on this on the uh, on the site uh, Minecraft.tools. Uh, very handy. Uh, boom. See, that's fancy. I like that. That is really cool. Look at that. Memes. The TM command. It's basically just team message, but just TM. So I already went over that one. The TP command. Uh, there used to be a difference between teleport and TP, but now there's really no difference. Uh, they're both the same thing now in 1.16. So. 
I've already demonstrated this one. Also, you can, uh, you can teleport to players and not just coordinates too. Very handy. The trigger command. Basically what you can do is you can use this to, uh, to trigger a uh, scoreboard objective to like, instead of just doing scoreboard players add uh, a score, you can just do trigger. Very handy. Um, I don't use it much, I just use the scoreboard command, but yeah, that's all it is. The W command, it's literally just W. It's It means to just direct message a player uh, like we went over. Uh, yes, there's three uh, message commands inside of uh, inside of the game of Minecraft, but this is also one of them. The weather command. So let's say it's uh, it's raining, uh, and as you know, most people in Minecraft don't like rain. It's it can be quite annoying. Just do weather clear, and then boom. Or you can set it to uh, the weather to thunder, so then your uh, your tridents will do their uh, their summoning or their uh, their channeling effect. World borders. So this command. It's hard to use, but I'm gonna sum it up in a way to say you can uh, you can change how big your world is. So you can essentially, if you want your uh, your world to just be only three chunks big, you can set it to be that. Like, it's not. I haven't seen much people use it, but that that's how it works. And lastly is the XP command, which we already went over. Uh, it's the same as the experience command and yeah that is that's it all right i hope this this video helped you guys out <laughs> it sure took me a while to set all this up and uh and do this for you but uh yeah i i'm happy this this video worked out um if you like the video please leave a like if uh if you didn't like how i explained anything like feel feel free to to say what you think in the comments uh let people know and uh, yeah, if you want more Minecraft Command content, I'd recommend subscribing because that's what we do on this channel. And yeah, have a good day to you. I'll see you next time.